Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel, A Monk in Cloud. So as you have already seen the thumbnail, today I'm going to break down how single sign-on works. Right? You might ask me, Yashwan, this is cloud-related channel. Why are you teaching SSO and all these things? Right? So these are some basic questions that you might expect during your cloud interviews. Right? So I have faced many interviews like that, and I'm just recording whatever the questions that i have pay, faced so that it will help the community as well i got to ask what is https and how it works can you you know draw a simple diagram and explain how it works so so i thought i would make a note of it and i would explain the same thing in the video also so that is what i have done here you can find that video here and thank you so much for 1.5k subscribers. I'm overwhelmed with the responses that I'm getting these days, right? Thank you so much. That is all I can say and I'll always give back to the society. Okay, now let's uh, start with uh, today's topic without wasting much time. As I've already announced that uh, we have a Hashnode uh, blog site available for Monk in Cloud. You can always go and read a uh, monkincloud.com so uh, where you will get all the things that I post in fo in the form of videos. You can also go and read that out, right? So if, if possible, please follow so that uh, whenever I post a new article, you would get notifications, okay? So let's now understand how single sign-on works. Basically, let's understand what is single sign-on first. So the single sign-on is an authentication method that allows users to access multiple applications or services with a single set of login credentials. So what type of login credentials we use usually? It should it it always be you know uh, username and password. It need not be right. In in your case, you can, you might use some other uh, th uh, you know sort of uh, login credentials. But usually it would be username and password. So instead of having separate username and passwords for each applications or each sites that you visit, what you can do is you can use the same login credentials for all the other applications so that you can use it uh, clearly, right? That's what I mentioned here. Users log in once and, and are then able to access all the applications they are authorized to use. If you're authorized to use other application, you would be able to do that, right? Now, let me explain how it works actually, right? So the user attempts to access an application that requires authentication. So then what happens? The application redirects the request to the user to some sort of SSO page, single sign-on login page. So where it will ask you for your username and password, right? You would enter uh, the login credential, username, password into the SSO sign-in page. Then what happens, the SSO system, the page that where you have entered this one, right? Verifies the credentials with an identity provided. So now what is identity provider? We'll speak about that later which is a basically it is a centralized repository or centralized service responsible for authenticating users so your organizations may use you know different sort of uh, identity providers it can be an uh, azure active directory or active directory or any uh, sort of uh, identity providers right so those are called as identity providers and the sso system verifies the credentials with the identity provider Right. If the credentials are matching or if the credentials are valid, the IDP generates a security token that includes the information about the user's identity and authorization. It will generate a security token and the security token is passed back to the application. So the token will be given to the application. I will I'll explain it once more, once more using a simple uh, you know graphical view so that you can understand. But Bear me for that. If you want to access some other site, right? So you don't have to provide the same username and password or you don't have to enter the same username and password twice. So as you have already created a token, the same token can be used. So, but you would not get that token. You would not be able to view that, but behind the scenes, that token will be there Right. So if you are accessing the second application, the same token will be passed to the second application. Right. This makes it easier for users to access the application they need 
and eliminates the frustration and security risks associated with managing multiple usernames and passwords right sso also improves the security by reducing the number of opportunities for unauthorized access as users are required to authenticate only once right so this is how uh, it works if you see assume this as a user is trying to access an application uh, i've used the logo of facebook but you can uh, imagine like uh, workday or teams or outlook any other applications right if you're trying to access that suddenly what it will do you it will be redirecting you to the sso sign in page sso login page where you would enter your username and password once you do that the identity provider identity provider will check if the username and password that you are typing is valid or not if it is valid what this identity provider will do is it will create a security token for you and that security token will be passed to your application right so after uh, you the security token is received by the application you would be able to log into that application and do your day-to-day -day tasks okay so that is how it works second time well let's say first time you are accessing teams next let's say you are accessing outlook what happens you will open outlook okay so then what next so you have already created a security token i mean the identity provider already provided you the security token the same thing will be used and the same security token will be passed to your outlook and you would be able to access outlook also without entering username and password right so this is the same thing that i've explained here also you can go through that i'm not gonna you uh, know go over that again because it will take a you know it will be a, a redundant task right so if you are liking the content that i'm creating please consider subscribing and share it among your friends thank you and i'll see you in the next one but please subscribe to a monk in cloud channel and also follow this a monk in cloud.com or hash note that we have created so that you can also read it okay so that's it for this video thank you and bye bye